If you're a thumb draw archer and you're having trouble aiming, I know what your problem is. Let me show you. No, my name's Alan Odinson. I am a thumb draw archery instructor. I've been teaching archery for over 10 years. I'm also a bow maker at Odinson Archery. Whenever I'm teaching people thumb draw archery, everybody has the same problem. They don't know how to aim. And to be honest, you can get books and watch videos all you want to, but I haven't found a lot of people that really explain it very well. I'm going to show you the simple method that I use to be able to make long range precision shots using thumb draw archery. So our trick here is going to be very simple. It's going to be the same protocol that you would use if your arrow was on this side of the bow and you were using three fingers. The same exact protocol. Let me show you how we make that work. So what we're going to do is very simple. We're going to keep the same protocol as if our arrow was on this side of the bow. So when we draw back using three fingers, we would look down the arrow. We're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So people will ask, how in the world are we going to look down our arrow if we're aiming this way because I have to look through the bow? Well, in your form, if your form is absolutely correct and you've got a proper back tension, that back tension will move the bow so your eye is looking down your arrow. Most people mess up on this part and they try to compensate with things like Adi Borcatra and things like that. In a modern world where we have control over what our spine on our arrows are and we're going to shoot consistently spine arrows, Katra is not as important as a lot of people think it is. So when we lock into our form, we want to make sure that we're getting good back tension. That back tension, if you watch when I'm here, if I just draw to here, I'm looking down the middle of the bow, but as soon as I lock my back into the draw, you can see my arrow, my eye is now down my arrow shaft here, okay? That's what we're looking for. Once we're able to get that tension in there, we're, it, it moves the bow to here. So if I'm drawing back to here and I lock in my back tension, it actually moves my eye over top of the arrow, which enables me to sight down using pretty much a, a gap shooting method.